everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates. I want to do a third video, and this is of my Friendship Journals, Volume 3 and 4, and they are from the birthday challenge I just had that ended on um, Friday with the drawing, and I want to say congratulations again to the winners, but I have just had the best time. Um, compiling these journals and seeing all the beautiful entries and so now I want to show you Friendship Journal Volume 3 and um, this is the back again just with some plain vintage scrapbook paper or damask kind of print it's not old paper it's just old style I guess with the 2019 on the back and um, I asked for the journal pages to be five by six or six and a half and I think that helped me make the covers about seven by um, oh I don't know six and a half by seven or something like that but anyway they worked out really well um, and each cover has vintage images of friends and so I just did some collaging and layering and this one has this really pretty um, it's kind of a silk ribbon with some embroidered little flowers I guess you can see it better there and then this polka dot pocket is a pocket with where you can stick tags and it just says friendship and it opens up again to the names of the crafty friends that are included in this volume which are Bridget Murray Gypsy Girl Crafts by Pamela Viv's a little bit crafty Mary Hill Mary Barrett she did two pages Viv did too, so she's, this is Viv's number two, Shar Fisher, and Ivy's Shabby Crafts Cabin. And the first page is made by uh, Bridget Murray, and she just has the most creative papers and photographs I haven't ever seen in any of my entries. I love this image of the two little girls pulling the wagon of flowers. They have their pretty little sunbonnets on, and then this paper is very unique. I love this and it just says friendship isn't a big thing it's a million little things so pretty and then on the back I love that it's got great journaling space and she did gift me so many die cuts and extras um, and I'll probably do something and put it in this pocket here but anyway that's the beautiful page from Bridget this is my very fabulous page from Pamela at Gypsy, um, what's your page? Gypsy Girl Crafts, yeah. So this has got layers and layers of these really fascinating green flowers. I just love green anyway, but just these flowers are so enchanting. And then she's got these beautiful crystal little bead trims here. And these are tags that come in and out. And this little ephemera tuck spot super pretty this is a tag and I love these fibers and she gifted me tons of fibers that I can use and then there's more tags in these little corners and just so much fun sparkly um, detail to look at I mean there's even a fun little mushroom down there so this is a really wonderful page from Pamela. Um, this is from Viv, and Viv did this sweet vintage page with all these stickles and trims. And like I said, the colors that she used are just beautiful. I mean, for it to be vintage but still so colorful, it was just a very awesome way to create a page and then I just added this for attaching the pages I mentioned in another video that I found it really challenging to attach these it's mostly because my sewing machine is so temperamental so some of them I couldn't sew in I had to cover them and glue them in but it worked they were they're all in and they're all secure so this is the back of Viv's page <clears throat> I mean look she even painted that little flower and this little tuck spot is gorgeous. So that's a gorgeous, gorgeous page from Viv. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I'm going to take a drink. Pardon me. And then I have another beautiful page from Mary Hill. Love this. She did all kinds of collaging and vintage papers. And again, with papers I've never seen before. Lots of tags. All of them won't be in here simply because I couldn't close my journals because everybody gifted me so many beautiful tags and embellishments so I can only put a few in at a time but I absolutely love them so this one and this one are the first couple that I'm using of Mary's and I do plan to use these journals I'm just so so blessed to have so many <clears throat> so the next page is uh, Mary Barrett can you see that? Mary did two pages for me. Beautiful layering and this paper line is gorgeous. I love the little splatters of paint and the script and the beautiful bird cage and the little um, clip banner that she stuck on here. It's removable down to the stickles or glitter on the little flower. The details are wonderful inside there's a pocket and she gifted me tags and journals one of my favorite things about her tags is she made tea bag flowers i've never seen that before um but i'm sure it's been done it's just mary's the first person i've ever seen do it and i love it and there are more tags in here that she sewed and added book page to so I love, love, love the vintage style and the beautiful details. There's another beautiful clip. And this envelope opens up. It's got a really pretty little tool tie there and an image of the Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the next page is also um, was created by Mary Barrett and this beautiful bookmark clips on with this pretty little clip that's got the vintage button and a little snippet of fabric and cheesecloth. It's just so pretty. And I think she Mod Podged that, yes. And then there's some more advertisement, vintage advertisement here with another snippet. Another pocket tag. She did lots of sewing. I love the stitching. And that tiny little image so sweet and inside she's got just all these wonderful little elements and I love how you Mod Podge the napkin onto the script or book page so pretty so thank you Mary love your pages and thank you for two of them okay and then this is another one that was made by Viv from Viv's A Little Bit Crafty. I love this image on the back here. Can you see that? It's like a beautiful little village town, probably in the spring or the summer. Her tags are just so creative with all kinds of layers. And this is an envelope. And it's got um, more tags inside, really pretty. I'm just loving all the details and the little tuck spots and layers. And there's one, and this is a pocket. Oh, and the other thing Viv did was she ruffled uh, paper. So there's like paper trim that she sewed. And it's a beautiful combination of fabric and paper and glitter. It's just gorgeous. And then this is from Char Fisher. Love this page. Char made um, fairy angels for me. I wonder if I can reach. I can't reach them right now. But they are all. They're these beautiful little fairy angel um, ephemeras that are so pretty. But she is. This is the um, a really creative mixed media piece. There's rusted pens and fabric and vintage jewelry there's a rusted butterfly and some pewter beads and tags and it's just so detailed and pretty and inside and this is stuck in I'm probably gonna put something there I think I can fit more ephemera in this one 
but inside of this pocket I didn't I don't know if I mentioned this in her video but is it Runa Luza Rona Luza anyway this is something she received from got from her and I uh, Rosu Luna Rosu I think that's her name I watch her videos and I didn't realize that this is something from her she does amazing journals and then there's a wax seal and some tea dyed paper for journaling but look at this collage it's just so beautiful and there's more in the pocket but I show that in Shar's individual video as well so thank you Shar love 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 this page and then the last page I have is from Ivy and Ivy's um, YouTube channel is is it uh, Ivy's shabby crafts cabin and she did more of a I, I tucked her address in there too I'll take that out she did a real romantic theme which I love it's super pretty she's got more of that gorgeous embroidered rose embellishment and chiffon flower petals and then these are some of the tags that I can journal on and each tag she put little snippets and collage pieces which are super pretty and I love the little tuck in of corrugated cardboard that's fun and then this is the back and she's got this beautiful luscious um, fabric flower and I call these chandelier dangles I love them and then this tag and more of the corrugated cardboard it's just beautiful layers and layers of lusciousness so this is volume number three of my crafty friends journal pages so so pretty I can't tell you how excited I am to own this with your work in it I will treasure it forever and I better get on to volume number four because I don't want anyone's to be cut short they're all so special to me this is the back of volume number four more of the um, letter script scrapbook paper I put a little bit of the salmon pink polka dots um, as the fabric I'm not fabric as a contrasting pattern and then this is just some sheer lace it says friendship journal number four and then there's just a little ruching of some vintage floral fabric in a little piece of the same lace and this photo may not show up as well it's two girls sitting at a little cafe in Paris having coffee and doing what we love to do chatting and then this is a little pocket again for a tag and I use some of the contrasting green polka dots and some um, vintage floral paper and it just says friendship and then I uh, wove some of that same fabric through some vintage lace here on the edge then it opens up to my crafty friends volume 4 which include artsy grandma which is Asia Olivia Hernandez Siobhan from Pearl and Button Linica from Lynn's Crafty Life Chrissy Crosser which is Chrissy from Chrissy's Attic Creative Gigi and Shirley Wilson and um, Haley is also going to be included I don't have her entry yet but I will add her name and hers to either this one or volume three whichever one it fits best but I'm looking forward to getting Haley's entry soon um, and this is the page from the lovely Asia and I did just did a video on hers love the yellow and the pink this flips open and this one was just so fun and kind of like a tea party on a page it's just really cute excuse me I love the pink and um, the, the gold with the pink undertones in the trim I don't know if that's showing up very well um, and then she did a, a back page handmade with love and then I have her little info there and then this pocket has more of the fun little colorful tea party tags and a little notebook journal 
so, so pretty. The next page is by the awesome Olivia Hernandez. And Olivia gifted me so much gorgeous um, ephemera and embellishments and tags and cards and postage stamps. And it was just a wonderful, generous entry. And then she stamped some Hello Friend and Thinking of You. She's another one with that amazing gift for layering. Janine does the same similar type of layering with textures and vintage and it's one of those where you just want to sit down and take a lot of time to look because I mean look at this this is velvet I mean, it's just so pretty 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 she finds gorgeous images and then this is a tea dyed beautiful satin ribbon rose and these golden brown embellishments and there's Olivia's little tag and so there was no way I could fit all the beautiful tags in here but I absolutely feel blessed to have a page from you Olivia and Olivia was one of my winners she was um, Olivia was second place yes and then this is from the gorgeous Siobhan Siobhan did all this really cool coffee dyed trim and tags and again Siobhan gifted me so many tags that I couldn't fit them all in but um, I've got every single one of them and as I use them or share them I can pull them out of my embellishment box and I just love the pockets I love the paper line I think she said this was called something lace from Stamperia and anyway there's just all kinds of little wording she just did amazing work, which she always does. This is a beautiful little clip that I plan to keep in here. She did a little collage of vintage doily and she pinned it on. Oh, oh, I forgot. How, I, I gotta tell you what I did with this one. I kind of like what I did with this one as well. So on the back of Siobhan's, it opens up to this beautiful one by Linica from Lynn's Crafty Life. I love this vintage paper. And Linica was so thoughtful to make it uh, themed with boys because I have two boys. I live in a house full of boys. The dog's a boy, my husband, everybody. <laughs> so it was sweet that she thought of me in that way. And then she's loaded it with pockets, I mean tags, and she gifted me um, images of fairies and vintage images which was really pretty. I love this paper but with Linica's I made it so it will flip open and so then you can still see the back of Linica's with the uh, music note paper and another little space for tucking tags but then it also opens to the back of Siobhan's where I was able to tuck in a few more of the tags that she gifted me and this really pretty vellum envelope with the embellishments and this opens up into a little notebook to journal in and this adorable tag of this little girl had to go in my journal I absolutely love this so that's what I use the clip for over here that she created for me and then I was thrilled to get a page from Chrissy Crosser. Chrissy just had a challenge where she had us mail her postcards and she got postcards from all over the world. I was happy to join in and send her from some from our teeny little sleepy town of Waxhaw, North Carolina, but we actually are an old antique town. They used to ride buses of uh, people in on the weekends and they would antique in our downtown. And some of our buildings are from like early 1900s and still used. I was actually at one of them yesterday, but all that being said, I'm very um, grateful to have a page from you, Chrissy. Thank you so much for mailing it all the way from Australia. She does beautiful, beautiful journals. I'm sure you know who she is, um, but I did a video on her page and I was saying how I stalk her channel because I just love all of, again, the little vintage 
little snippets and things and then these milliner flowers which the, which have the velvet um, you know sheen or texture I should say she's layered silk roses and stamen and and use this beautiful lavender paper line and then on the back of her page there's a little belly band with embossed gorgeous embossed paper and tags and um, she's included this little tuck spot with a collage of fibers vintage that almost I think that's silk it's got cross stitch on it and some cheesecloth just gorgeous and then in the pocket there's another beautiful envelope that has tags inside and she's stitched around it and then this is the back so that's from Chrissy thank you so much Chrissy and then I have um oh sorry let me just I don't want to crush anybody's work so this is from Creative Gigi and she has layered again another beautiful collage of book paper and um, different textures of paper and stamping and applique and it's just beautiful and I've done a video of her work as well and I love how this opens into a full page for journaling. That was the only one I received like that. That was really special. And then she's got this beautiful doily die cut. And then inside, there's this real, I love fall. It's my favorite season. And I love how this brings out the fall elements. Um, and then here, this is from a torn edge of a notebook. How creative is that? At first I thought, you know, it represent it sort of looks like negatives, old negatives or movie reel, but I love that effect. And then she's gifted me some tags and she makes these tissue paper flowers. So you might want to scoot over to her channel and see how she makes those. But thank you so much, Gigi, for these. I love all of the pretty little clips and embellishments and the fibers and there's more layering here collaging so those are really pretty she stitched some fabric on the bottom of those and then my last page here came from the lovely Shirley Wilson we live in the same state here in North Carolina She's not too far from me, but I loved her page. It, it takes on a real spiritual element. I call this an African queen, this gorgeous bird image and the satin ribbon rose. She worked in gold and made it just so elegant. And then there's the amazing little tuck spots and corners and beautiful, beautiful images and there's just so much to see it's extremely interactive there's tiny little embellishments all kinds of pops of bling it's just amazing this is a flip with more images I mean I could look at this for a very long time Shirley I don't know how long this page took you but I know this kind of crafting is not something you can just snap your finger and be done so that was my beautiful page from Shirley and I think hers and only one other that I got has this neat little element where it ties shut like this. So you guys this is journal number four. I am my heart is full. I am so so excited to own journals from because of my crafting friends here on YouTube and that is the whole set volumes one through four and five on top 
So I hope you enjoy getting to see each individual page compiled into the journals. Um, I have been abundantly blessed and I'm extremely grateful and I'm probably going to go back and watch these videos myself just because I love being able to see each individual page. But thank you so much for making my challenge so successful. I plan on following all of you um, and continuing to support the crafting community as much as I can. Stay tuned for more challenge giveaways, not necessarily um, where you mail me anything, but just when I want to pop on and say I'd like to have a giveaway, I love to do that. And it's a, a small way to say thank you for your support. So thanks everybody. I'm going to go now. Have a happy day.